Wolf wow. Crone in loser semifinals. But first, we are going to have the winner's finals. Happy Medicine, who's already sat down, and Ricky Ortiz, who will be coming up to the stage. Oh, he's already up there. He's but on, on the other side. Yeah, there he is. Coming into your scene. Like we've been saying, Happy Medicine fighting out of Louisiana. He's had some good showings at a bunch of different tournaments, but I wonder if this is probably his best so far, as far as I'm aware of, anyway, as far as majors go. So he versus Ricky Ortiz, I believe it's still two out of three in winner's finals. And remaining in loser's bracket, we only have Wolfcorn and Flo, so we are down to the final four. All right. Ricky gonna be going with uh, Rufus, I'm sure. These are both definite character specialists in this game. Uh, there used to be ch uh, times when Ricky had Pocket Chun-Li and a couple of other characters, yes. but it's been a while since we've seen, seen him bring that out in tournament. Even in Super, he dabbled with Cammy a little bit. Never really quite found another character that he liked, so he's right. just stuck with Rufus this whole entire time. As you said earlier in the day, he just actually genuinely really likes the Rufus character. Uh huh. So, you know, he's kind of a character loyalist to Rufus right now. And with Rufus having gotten a couple of positive things in 2012 compared to AE, he's, he's I think, pretty content with the character at this point. With the way he plays. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! So this is going to be two out of three. Yeah. Winners finals. Ricky Ortiz versus Happy Medicine. Whoever wins this will be guaranteed to be flown to the final event in December. I, I don't know of any uh, time when these two have played in tournament. At least not that I've seen. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see it from that perspective. Uh, Happy Medicine did just beat Flo to get into winners final, right. so he just showed that he has, has some experience against, against Rufus. Rufus. Yeah. You know, I, I liked a lot of what he was doing with the character in terms of uh, areas that he was staking out uh, and not letting Flo get in past that in a lot of cases. Um, whether he can do that against Ricky Ortiz is, a, is you know, an, an open question. Ricky Ortiz has a more aggressive style. Yeah, I would I would definitely say. You know, we said that Flo, I mean, we said that uh, Justin and Ricky have fairly different Rufuses, but I, I think Flo's Rufus is probably the most different out of them all, and uh, it's hard for me, you know, having Happy Medicine do well against Flo, to me, I don't think it's going to matter as okay. much against Ricky, because I feel like Ricky's going to have some, uh, he just has certain aspects of his game that I don't think Flo is using properly with Rufus. Okay. Because, you know, it's just, it's again, Flo has had character crisis, right? So he doesn't have quite that uh, character familiarity that that I think uh, that Ricky has. Okay. So well, I guess we'll see. All right. Getting ready to go. Looks like they're trying to get their controllers working right, right. now. Right. It's always that problem with USB, man. Every uh, time you plug it in, it's always upside down. Uh, always upside down. Alrighty. I'm not sure what they're waiting for at this point. Oh, Hans has actually gone up there to, to talk with them about something. I'm not sure what the deal is. Not sure. Yeah. But I see both Happy Medicine and Ricky. He's kind of laughing, so... Are they not getting sound out of the headsets? I think. Uh, oh, that could be yeah, it. Yeah, I think they want the sound out of the headsets. Sure. They're not getting it. So. Yeah. I think it's cool that, that that's becoming more common. Yeah, to, to I have agree. Headsets. I agree. And not just uh, headsets that you bring. These are actually provided by Madcats. Yes. These headsets this weekend. It's not just for the stream station either. It's it was for all of the uh, right. all the stations. And you know what? I, at Evo when they did that, and I played some of my matches, and I had the headphones on. I actually much preferred it that way, being able to hear the game sounds. Yeah, it helped. I mean, I didn't do well, but it still, it, just, <laughs> it felt nice having that sound, and it did help me in some situations. So. I don't care at all in a game like Street Fighter 4, but if I'm playing Marvel, i got to hear if an assist is coming out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually matters in that in that game. Yeah, I just like being able to drown out the ambient noise. Right. Such. All right, so here we go. Winner's finals on the left is Happy Medicine, and on the right, Ricky Ortiz.
two out of three like we were saying before. Happy Medicine starting things off now. Now we already said against Flo, he played a very nice defensive game, not quite a shenanigan based as we had seen him do. And uh, he's being a little more offensive against Ricky right now. But we've seen him also use that jumping back fierce. Well, we saw Ricky already with great dive kick timing when he was caught in the corner to get over that, that stand, around, stand around house from, from Happy Medicine. We didn't see that very often from Flo, so already a little bit of a different uh, approach. And also, when Flo was playing, we saw that whenever he got close, he just kind of went dive kick crazy. So let's see if Ricky kind of adapts a similar style or if he tries to go for something different. And Happy Medicine backing off. Trying to stay at a range where he can react to whatever. Wow. Nice crouching. Oh, we went up for a grab, and then Ricky actually dropped the stuff. That's a crouching fierce punish, but at least he's out of the corner, which would be much, a much more dangerous situation. Here's the throw, established early in the very first round. Oh, wow, on the other side, nice job. Stand short, linked in the low short. EX Galactic Tornado. Most of the stand light attacks will not combo into anything for Rufus except for EX Galactic Tornado. That's why that move is so vital. That's why that new technology they gave him, being able to FADC that first part, is so important because now he can get big damage right. for the cost of a lot of meter, for the cost of three meters essentially, but he can get big damage off of a light attack. Nice block. And he guesses right on the follow up as well. And then the throw timing too. So nice defense there by Heavy Medicine. He's not, he doesn't have corner control anymore, but at least he wasn't as bad as it could have been. Wow, interesting timing on the dive kick right there by Ricky Ortiz. I'd be very surprised and impressed if he was expecting a sweep there. Good combo. He's looking for a quick rise. Ricky does not oblige with that. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's going for an extended combo. I don't know why he went for the extended combo, especially uh, Man, after he hit him with so many jabs and shorts. The extended combo wasn't going to do much damage. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do here. EX, yeah. yeah. All he could, I mean, he could teleport to the other side, I guess. Maybe you try know. to get it. Maybe hope he was charged up for an ultra. Just go. Well, if he had done him, ultra there, yeah. would have had to been a late, late ultra, yeah. latest possible second there. Would not have been easy. So, game one goes to Ricky Ortiz. There were just a few moments in there where I was really impressed by Ricky. That that dive kick from across the screen. I guess an expectation, or maybe just doing it of, of that uh, that slide. A couple of the ways he's gotten around Stan Rannos have been very impressive. Control of the character's mobility is excellent. Yeah, I mean, so much so that it looks like Jacob is no longer pressing Stan Rannos quite as much as he was against Flo. Ricky slowly trying to make his way in. Oh, and Crouch Tex! Crouch Tex again from Heavy Medicine. That's why he lost the last round. Nice throw there. So Ricky knows that he blew up the last Crouch Tex, so he went for the throw that time. And he's punishing the EX Psycho Crushers properly. Nice whip dive kick in the throw. Oh, he went for another throw. Wow. Great tech from Ricky. See if Happy Med oh, wow. Oh, okay. Not so sure Jacob if that was trying to start it off here. Wow, good sequence. Whoa! Oh, what a s I love the mix up. I love that the mix up. That was the devil's reverse, not the head stomp. Everybody thought it was head stomp. Yeah, and, and so did Ricky. He just was looking at the block. He did not, definitely did not want to jump in that yeah. situation. Because yeah. that would have been his life. Devil's reverse has no delay on whiff when it lands like that, the EX one. So smart stuff from Happy Medicine. Wow. And he got just far enough behind to beat that low strong from Ricky Ortiz. Nice. Keep it up. Yes. He's had pretty, pretty good execution for the most part today. Only a couple of issues. All right. Happy Medicine getting in there right now. Ouch. Ricky chose not to go. Oh, it was a cross up. Can he get it? Yeah, not he quite did. dead yet. Okay, just EX decided to get out of there. Wow, oh, he, can't down. Get, he can't get crazy here. One more combo. Oh, there regular psycho to get out. Wow. Wow, he threw him. That was such a risk. That could have been so many things. Could have been dive kick, could have been EX Messiah. Right. Either, either of which could have been his ultra, but Jacob knew. And it's now 1 1. Let's, Let's see what started. Ricky does from here. I've always said that there is no player on the planet that plays better mad than Ricky Ortiz. Oh, nice. A couple of strong things here from Happy Medicine starting it off. 
know, he has not stopped with the crouch tech. Refusing. Yeah, there it is again. Ricky Ortiz recognized it. Nice. EX Psycho. Oh, and then dash right into another combo. Get enough hits in there to make sure you're charged up for another scissor kick. Nice. Love those two stand round houses right there. Done at just the right times where if there had been dive kicks, it would have popped them. Wow! Okay. If that had been a light kick ender, it's a focus breaker. And that focus wouldn't have worked. So Happy Medicine just guessed right on the follow up there. Well, he saw that Ricky didn't have any meter. So he figured there was no FADC coming. So he said, you know what? I'm going to just assume he's going to go for the sweep or the overhead. Because those are the two safe ones on block. So now Happy Medicine is at match point to get into grand finals and guarantee him a, uh, himself a spot in the grand grand finals in San Francisco in December. Nice sweep right there from Ricky. Oh, he's got his own mix jump. up like that. Happy Medicine had that oh. in the previous round. Nice block. Okay, there oh, it is. Yeah. Great throw by Ricky. He knows just when you believe that he's not going to do it. Oh. Look, Happy Medicine is, is almost daring. Ricky Ortiz to do an EX Messiah. Do you see how many scissor kicks that Rufus just beat there with just some normal moves? Match point both. Both loaded on super, both in their final rounds. Going right down to the end here. Huh. Alright, gonna get some extended damage there. And the better positioning. Two meters. Going for it. Oh, Out of the nice. air. look at that counter hit! And he went and he spent another EX bar just for a little extra damage. I'm not sure I like that because now he has no escape. Okay, he's finally got a little bit of a meter. Nice. Ooh, not fast enough on that punish. <laughs> he's playing with fire. Ambiguous cross up there. Oh, there it is. Not quite death, but it's so close. Ricky Ortiz has to make it happen right now. That's, oh, that was the start of the chance, but here, let's see if he gets it. Oh, that could be it! Alright, no, no, not no, dead yet. Not gonna be not dead, dead, not gonna be but dead. It's exactly what he needs. So tense here, can he get this? Did he get him? No! Watch out, okay, there it is. Ultra? Oh, no! Oh. Wow, Ricky Ortiz manages to escape against half.